first of all, you're going to want to protect your work surface. I have a drop cloth down. Then you'll need some chicken wire. I have quite a big roll and it's the two foot length. You'll need a wire cutter, a needle nose pliers, and some thin wire. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is take your wire cutters and cut your chicken wire to size. Now I just have a little piece sitting out here to show you the steps. It's a whole, whole lot easier to get started with a smaller piece. So for my big piece, I cut my chicken wire um, about 31 inches long and about 12 inches tall. So that gave me the piece of the size that I wanted to work on. And the good thing about this project is you can make it whatever size you want. I okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do when you're cutting the chicken wire is to make sure when you cut the chicken wire that you have this little um, tail here. This is what you're going to use to twist the wire around the opposite side. So when you're cutting, you can kind of see how it's got this pattern here. You're going to want to follow one row and cut right at this juncture right here. Hopefully you can see that to give you this little tail. All right. So you're going to cut one side and making sure you have all the little tails. Then you're going to follow it to the width that you want and then you're going to cut the other side to make sure it has the little tails. And once you have your piece of chicken wire cut to size, then you're going to roll it up like this so that you kind of have the sides together where you sort of want them and just kind of push it down so that it sort of stays in the shape that you want. Can you see that? So then you've got a seam side and then the side that's curved. So then, starting at the bottom, what you're going to do is push the two sides together. Just line up the honeycombs, if that makes any sense whatsoever. I've kind of mangled this piece that I'm going to be showing you with. But anyways, so basically, you're going to take Your chicken wire and you're going to overlap the honeycombs so that the two pieces line up. Here you've got the one piece and here's the second piece and basically what you're going to do is take those two pieces and you're going to twist them around each other. Give it a good twist until you can't twist anymore. And you may want to wear gloves for this because you're going to get poked a lot. But twist and twist until you've got just a little bit left like that. And then these little sticky parts, I push one up and I push one down. And this is where a needle nose pliers comes in. You just kind of squish it down in there. This one's a little long. I'm going to trim this one like that. And then I'm just going to push it down. Kind of meld it together. So there you've got your first seam. So you're going to continue doing the same thing. And it gets a little tricky after in the middle. But you're just going to keep twisting and twisting. And that will give you your seam. Alright, so that gives you your seam on the back side of your cloche. And hopefully you can see that. There's your seam. Once you've got that started, you're going to want to do that about three quarters of the way up. As you can see here, I have already done 
a seam about halfway, three quarters of the way up, and then I stopped so then I could start forming the top. So now let's talk about how to do the top. And what you're going to do is bring the two sections together like this. Make sure you attach those two together. Then you're going to start dealing with this section here on the side and then this section on this side and to make it a rounded shape. So that's what I'm doing right now with this one. So you can see on this side I've already kind of um, squished the wire to kind of where I want it to and now I'm going to cut out this excess stuff and twist it together to make this shape. Now when I'm doing this I need to make sure that I always leave a tail so that I can attach it. Just like on our seam in the beginning we want to make sure that we have some sort of tail to wrap around the other pieces of wire that's remaining. So yeah, it gets a little tricky at this part, but it just goes slowly and you know what, if you mess up, a lot of times you can fix it quite easily. So I'm going to start working on this. So you just kind of have to determine what you want to cut off. And just work in real small sections at a time and then see what you get. So I'm going to twist this around here like that. I found that if I just kind of do it a little bit and then come back and um, work on any stray pieces that are poking out. So you've got your basic shape, it's not quite right, but we're just going to kind of go with that. And now we've got the three sides done, and all we have to deal with is this part here where we're attaching it. So I'm going to start at the top and make my way down basically the same way. Just cutting off what I don't need and twisting the wires together. shape that is not quite you know the shape that we want I mean it's circular but it needs it's a little wonky looking so first things first is we're going to go through and pick, finish all these little tails that we've got sticking up and to do that we just kind of bend the wire a little more around and then kind of squish it in there 
so that it stays nice and tight. Okay, so now that we've got our shape, I see how I've got one side's kind of more bubbled, but we're just going to kind of start pulling and squishing the wire together till it makes the shape that we want, because it's not a perfect science, that is for sure. So we just kind of make the wire go where we want it to at this point. All right, so this side's kind of got like a little bubble. We just kind of keep molding it until we get what we want. All right, so now that we have our shape that we want to use, we need to determine where to put the hook. And to use the make the hook, I just have some wire. I don't know if you can see that or not. Just some plain little wire like this. So I have a big long piece of wire just from the craft store and I fold it in half. And then I start twisting it together. Sort of kind of debraided a bit. All right, so then I'll bend it in half, sort of make the shape I want. And then twist that together a bit, a couple times around. And then with the, then you'll have a little handle like this and a tail, which you can attach it to your pouch with. So, First things first, you got to determine where you want your handle to be. I'm going to put mine right here. So basically, you're going to hold it on and you're going to twist it on where you want it to be. Twist it a couple times around. And then kind of smush it all together so that it stays where you want it. And then you trim the tails. So there you got your little cloach if you can see that or not. Basically, you've got your little handle on the top. All right, so there you go. That is the finished product. I don't know if you can see it. There we go. Maybe you can see it a little better. You've got the handle and you got the cloach itself. And it turned out pretty good, I think. Now, I personally like to paint the chicken wire when I'm all when it's all done because I don't particularly care for the shiny um, chicken wire metal look. Now if I had like old rusty stuff I would leave it the way it is but because I don't have that this is like too new looking for me. So I'm going to paint it. Typically I've painted them black but I think I'm going to try painting them white. This one white and see how I like it. If I don't like it then I'll give it some black spray paint. So I'm just going to go spray paint this and then I will show you how I use it in my decor.